Hey, Simon here and today I would like to talk about not sending the death event for a particle when it is uh, died by old age. So what do I mean by that? Here you see a particle system and you see that there, there are gray particles, this is this one here, and when a particle dies then it generates a death event and this is then received by this other uh, emitter here and here is an event handler and a receive a death event module and those are receiving this event and then a new particle is born in that case a bright orange particle okay and um, they are dying of two causes here up here they are dying because of old age and down here they are dying because i have this uh, kill volume if i remove this it looks like this uh, they are dying because of age now, they are at the end of their lifetime. But I have this kill volume here and so some are killed earlier because this kill volume reaches down into these particles. And I wanted to have uh, the death event only sent when they are killed because of the volume and not when they are killed because of the age. So what I did was I generated a new module here and this is the result. Um, I have to check this option and now you can see that the gray particles appear they just die but they are, they are not replaced by an orange particle and only those who are killed by the volume are replaced by this emitter basically by this bright orange particles so how did I do this that's not so complicated let's just uh, remove this and this so the, the basic setup so here we have our setup from before First, I would add um, generate dev event and then I would double click it and here control B. So now we are in this folder where all these events are defined. You can sort this a little bit and then you can just duplicate the original one to avoid that you make any mistakes. Duplicate and in my case I name it um, version 3 so that uh, because I already made the version uh, 2. And then you can double click it. So you are safe that you don't change your original. Okay, and then in here I would like to have a little um, a little bool so that I can enable or disable this new uh, function, but I can't edit here. I have to go into the module inputs here, bool, whoop, and I name it don't send event when particle died by age. Okay, it's a bit long, but explanatory. So now I uh, edit here. Now there's the warning. Oh, don't edit all these things because uh, you could uh, fuck up something. But uh, we are made. Uh, we made a backup, so it's okay. I work in version three here, and then I get the normalized age for the particle. Okay. So the first thing, if this option is not set. Yeah, uh, it, then every, everything should run as normal. So I can make uh, so I have to make it like this. So okay. So if this option is not set, then it goes into this OR, and uh, here this can be either uh, uh, true or false, and then it goes in here and here. And we need one condition uh, here which is that I check if this value is less than 1. Converting this to a float. Okay. And then we make an end. So if this option is set, that we don't want to send out the event when the particle is died by age, then I require that the normalized age is smaller than 1, because 1 means it just died because it reached the end of the lifetime but if this value is smaller than one I know that it died the particle died because of something else for example a kill volume I put this here so now we will uh, return true either if this is the case so if, if the particle did not die by age or uh, if this option is just not set and then I require that uh, the original setup uh, also is true and then all this goes in here so now we can compile and oh and then i think i need um, a description here well, let's test 
if it works like that. So I will disable this one here and now add my version 3. Uh, oh no, it, it works. Here's our option, so that's nice. So now uh, it is like before. That's not uh, and nothing changed. But if I enable now my little checkbox here, I see, oh, nice. Now all the particles are which actually die with a, with a normalized lifetime of one uh, don't generate the death event anymore, but those who are killed earlier generated. So that's nice, um, because now I can uh, continue with my work. And I hope you learned something. So uh, here again is the setup, just in case you want to see it again. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment. Bye bye.